Welcome to my first episode. Today I have simple task, to uninstall SRM from our VMware environment, as one of the vCenters is being decommissioned. Of course it proved wrong. As usually something went wrong. Always has to be something. But before I start talking about this task, let's see what the funny issue found me in the morning. Oh by the way, if you interested in technical jargon please, make sure you watch the full video, as in some moment of this show I will explain what vCenter and SRM are. So if you are not familiar with this technology, or you want to learn something new, that section of my video is designed for you. If you already know everything, still do not skip. If you skip, I will send a virus, directly to your computer. Okay. Let's the day of sysadmin, begin. I am receiving this message. Hey sysadmin, how is your day? I replied. I am good, and you? He replied. Well, I have issue with this host, please help. Okay, what seems to be a problem? I asked him. He answered with this message. Cruntab minus L. You, service account, are not allowed to access the Cruntab because of PAM configuration. A, that is easy I thought to myself. There could be two reasons for this error. User not allowed, access to Cronin etc, security, access.conf, file. Or, expired password for the user. My initial thought was, of course user is not allowed access to Crone. They would check password expiration, wouldn't they? So the next message I see is this. Password expires, June the 25th, 2020. And today is June the 26th. Oh yes they did not know what to do. So I replied. Oh man. Password expired yesterday, just change the password. Let's focus now on the main task. SRM decommissioning. We hit four data centers, and one of them is going to be decommissioned. My task was, to decommission SRM between data center A and B, develop a data center A and B. All in all four virtual machines. The important thing to remember is that SRM has to be uninstalled. If one removes just virtual machines, then to remove extensions one needs to go to, mob, and remove them manually. All protection groups were already removed. Let's have a quick look on the SRM itself. SRM, Site Recovery Manager, is a disaster recovery management product, from VMware, that provides automated failover, and disaster recovery testing. This is a quick overview of SRM. If you would like me to make a video about SRM, installation, configuration etc., please leave the info in the comment section. In summary we can see a site pair, where example VC Boston is production site, and VC Las Vegas is DR site. On the top we can see, configuration for site pair, where one configure site pairs between vCenters. Protection groups, where one configure what virtual machines are going to be protected. Recovery plans where one configures how to fill over to DR site. Again if you want an in-depth video on this subject let me know in the comment section. And now let's uninstall SRM.
Looks like this one went without any surprises. Let's jump to another machine, straight away to keep momentum going. I fucking knew it. Always something must go wrong. Fuck. Simple tasks become complicated. Do you know how to solve it? Have you seen it before? If so, please leave a like on this video. However I did know how to proceed. Let's check what Uncle Google has to say about the issue. So I typed error message, VMware Site Recovery Manager, setup requires administrative privileges. And opened two links, uninstalling or repairing, VMware Center, Site Recovery Manager fails on Windows 2008 operating systems. Hmm, not my system. I don't use 2008. Second link. Running, modify, install in the VMware Center Site Recovery Manager, on Windows, something, something, something. And of course being hot-headed, I did not read description properly. I jumped to the section with resolution and applied the fix. Anyone can guess what was the result. The value already was zero. But oh well, let's see what will happen if I will change to one. Anyway why the fuck not? Fuck it all and fucking no regrets yeah. Now, after reboot, let's try to uninstall SRM again. Surprise surprise I'm back to square one. Shit. But then, I read the error message again, and again, and one thing stood out. Administrative privileges. So I decided, to add my account to the admin group, on this machine directly. 
I know it is big no no, but first of all, I can delete it, secondly this server is going down, the moment, I uninstall SRM. So no issue here. Let's see if that helps. Question time. After adding my Active Directory account into the local admin group, do I have to reboot the machine for change to take effect? Pause the video and reply in the comment. No! 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 So I already explained and gave an overview of SRM, now I will briefly tell you what vCenter is. vCenter Server, a management tool that acts as the control hub for data center services. It also provides the API for vSphere and manages ESXi. VMware vSphere Client is a Java and HTML5 based interface that gives users access to remotely connect to vCenter. In version 7 of vCenter Java is deprecated. I also mentioned MOB, the Managed Object Browser, is a web-based server application available for all ESXi and vCenter server systems. The MOB lets you examine the objects that exist on the server and navigate through the hierarchy of life objects by clicking on links. The MOB populates the browser with actual runtime information, for example, the names of properties. Thanks for watching and I hope it was informative and educative for you. Please subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Please leave a comment and like. See you in the next video.